we have dinner in that in uh -huh. that table and we go to to church yes i and never we, i never thought you were so religious i am not re okay my mom thinks i am religious but i not really we okay. are catholic we are catholics uh -huh. um, and uh, we go to church and we do this thing that is a uh, Mm, to thank rock, for the things ah okay to rock, rock the baby yes rock the baby and we put it in the the crib yes 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 and you rock the baby yes oh this is so typical from some old-fashioned families yes my 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 grandparents are are old so i think oh and i don't know if it, i don't know if you know but here in veracruz there are a a tradition huh? that is going with a we call la rama it's oh. like yes it's like a, a branches how, branches branches yes it's a branches and we decorate it like it's like a, a like with this like if it is uh this christmas tree yes the christmas tree but it's oh, just okay. the range of and we go in in houses and we ask uh -huh. for uh, like for money or candy or fruits yes. do you have any special we don't like, usually uh... do it anymore but uh -huh. it, but it is used it was a tradition an old tradition Okay, like uh like a Halloween trick or treat, but with Christmas. Yes, yes, yes but we sing um Christmas, Christmas carols. Yes. Wow. Pretty I, I thought it was like old Mexico, but in no. this recent that I knew it's just in Veracruz. <laughs> yeah, we don't do it here and in many places of the country, neither in Monterrey or nothing like that. No, it's just uh, <laughs> a jarochos thing. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Valeria. Okay, guys, let me show you some vocabulary about, about Christmas because... Uh, I can see that you don't know many words about Christmas, so I have prepared a special vocabulary so that we can do it and answer it together, okay? So let me have it here, and you are going to help me to answer it right now. Okay, so, okay, give me a second, guys. I am going to share with you the link so that you can have it. And give me a second, please. On, cause I don't know what's happening with this. Oh, let's see. Give me a moment. So, if you take a look at the conversational group, there is the link, and you will also have it in the UK group. So, in both places, you are gonna find it. All right. It's called Christmas Number One. So let's do it together, right? So maybe who can help us with this vocabulary? Ah, yes, I know who's going to help us. Ceci. Hello, Ceci. Are you there? Hi, teacher. Yes, I'm here. Can you help us with this Christmas vocabulary? Yes. Okay. Look at the pictures and tell us what it is. Okay. No, it's not easy. No, I don't know. Maybe uh let me give you a clue. No. No? You don't mm -hmm. catch me? What am I drawing in this moment? A, a, a bubble? No. No. The beginning of the word starts with this. Okay, uh, poinsettia, 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 
Poinsettia. Thanks, yeah, point, Poinsettia. How do you say point, Poinsettia? Noche bueno. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, nativity scene. Okay. What is that in Spanish? Uh, nacimiento, escena de Navidad. I don't know. Nacimiento, okay. okay. Uh, Christmas carols. Oh, no. Ah! Not right. Okay. You have three chances. Uh, 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 uh. I, uh, Oh, okay. Uh, stocking? Media? Yes. What is stocking? Media. Um, we are talking uh, about uh, the songs. Uh, uh, this, this is Christmas carols. Yes. How do you say in Spanish Christmas carols? Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I don't know. Come on, come on. A bubble? Espera. Oui. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is like uh, the things that are hanging in the in the wall or different places to indicate that it's Christmas. Uh maybe uh uh uh, uh Tinsel? How do you say tinsel? I don't know. I don't know. Escarcha. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, maybe. Ribbon? Moño? Cinta? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Moño. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it's late. Trineo. Uh -huh. It's Rudolph. Reno. Yes. What do you say, Reno? <laughs> Reno. Uh -huh. Okay, and great. Great. Corona. Great. Corona okay. Navideña. Okay. okay. Thanks. Okay. We did it, guys. Let's see what happens with this Christmas vocabulary. Okay. Okay. These people have finished. Ceci, Mariana. And we are waiting for the others. What happened with you? Valeria, Jose, Donovan. What happened, guys? Almost finished? Or what's going on? Because we haven't finished with this. Hello. Do you have problems with your connection, Natalie? I think yes. I'm sorry for this, but you have problems with your connection. Okay, guys, let's get to continue. And we get back to the questions that we were. Yes, I connect with the... your mother's phone, no? But I hear you with so many problems. No worries. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's get to continue for the questions and let's get another person for this question. Okay. So this is going to be for Donovan. Okay, Donovan, here is your question. Do you have any special? Sorry. How do you usually celebrate Christmas? Uh... I usually pass with Christmas with my father, so my father's in law. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, having dinner and a karaoke. Oh. Uh, you guys exchange yeah. presents? Do you guys exchange presents? Mm, yeah, uh, I, with my. Uh, wife's family, yes, uh, because uh, in my own family, 
you, uh, we we only karaoke or or uh, listen listening music or that's all but with my uh, wife's family yes okay and this year what are you gonna do are you gonna spend it with your parents or your parents in law uh, with my parents in law okay okay so have you already got your gifts or not yet uh, yeah 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 I, I, we bought uh, last week okay so how many gifts are you gonna give like uh, no uh, well for in my with my parents in law uh, five because uh, the her mom and her dad and her her brothers her, her siblings hey, and and Lupita is gonna be with you there uh, yes okay okay Donovan thank you for your answer let's go to somebody else guys for more questions right hey, Dana because you almost gotta go next question Dana get ready do you have any yes, special sure. Christmas traditions in your family? Mm, yes. Uh, at some hour of the night, uh, we sit down around uh, uh, a fire. How do you say? A fire, yes. Uh, yes, a fire. Uh, make some plays or speak. Some uh, games with... or speak. Okay. Yeah. Okay. After twelve p.m. or at what time do you sit down in front of fire? At twelve p.m. because it, uh, maybe it's the time that uh, all the family speak about uh, the um, dreams and all these things. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful tradition. Thanks. Okay. Let me ask to somebody else, Sara. Do you have any special Christmas traditions in your family, Sarah? Can you tell us? Hello, teacher. Uh, no, in the in the Christmas we had a big dinner, and after that we play a table game. Okay, um, board games. Board games. Boarding, sorry. Board games. Board games. <laughs> board games. Sorry. Um, Example. What board games do you do you play uh, with? You know, you know, um, maybe um, domino. Oh, uh, cool! Yes, it is the special domino. Right. Who, um, who will be with you this time in Christmas? It will be you, your husband. Mm -hmm. well, who else? My son, my daughter. Only four person. Okay, and they don't invite their couples, boyfriend, girlfriend, something like that? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, the 11, 11, 15, we, we had a, um, uh, um, what do you say, brindis? A toast. Sorry? Toast. We make dose. a toast. Toast. Okay, we we make a dose. Um that's all. That's all. Okay, Sarah. And what are you gonna have for dinner? Turkey, meat? I think turkey. Turkey. Okay. okay. Turkey and and mashed potato. Mashed potatoes. Okay. Thank you. Let's get you. to another question. This is going to be for you, Jose. Ready? How do you decorate your home for Christmas? Mm, we decorate it with um, the Christmas tree, mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm, lights, <laughs> Christmas light. <laughs> Um, what else? Do you do you set a nativity scene with the uh, baby Jesus? Uh, you know, 
Ah, uh, no, not really, because we don't have uh, one. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. And um, how are you going to celebrate Christmas this year? Do you stay at home? Do you go with your grandparents? Tell me more about this. Mm, yes, uh, we will go with my grandparents' house. And okay. we will Your stay. mom's? From the side yes. of your mom? Yes. Okay, so it will be you... Your parents, both um, of your parents, who else? Uncles, aunts? Um, no, um, only us. <laughs> only you. And what are you going to have for dinner? Uh, oh, I don't know, but maybe uh, romeritos. Okay. Anything else? Turkey? Mm, no, I don't think so. Pork? No, you don't know? No, I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. thanks. Let's go for another question, guys. And this question is for, let me see. Real tree or artificial tree? Natalie, Why? what do you say, Natalie? Real tree or artificial tree? What do you prefer? Uh, um, artificial tree. Mm -hmm. Why not real tree? Uh, because... Um, is difficult to have a real tree mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the cost or or because it's not good for the nature i don't know uh for the cost She's having trouble with her connection. Okay, guys, let me ask this question to somebody else, right? Um, Dana, what do you think? Real tree or artificial tree in your case? Why? Artificial tree because uh, we can reuse it and mm -hmm. recycle. Ah, okay, okay, Dana. Real tree uh, make... Uh, Many trash. Exactly. You make a lot of trash with this. I agree. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you another question, Dana, because you almost got to go. What's the best Christmas yes. gift you've ever received? The best Christmas gift you ever received? Um, mm, since two years ago, uh -huh. my uncle gave me a phone, a new phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. And do you still have the same phone? No, because uh, it breaks. It broke. Oh, oh, Dana, I'm sorry for this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, guys, I think this is an interesting question that we have to repeat. So can you tell me, Ceci, the best Christmas gift you ever received? What is it? I don't know. Maybe a pajama. That's not common in my family. Give us a gift. Present? Yes, okay. a, a present. Okay. What color was your pajama? Or... My pajama. I, I can't remember, but it was white. And it very hot. Okay. Um, Do you maybe still have it? Of the Pig Panther or something like this. <laughs> you have it, yeah. Yes, the, the, the pants, yes. Okay. Interesting. Thanks. So let's go for the next one. And let's have another person to answer this, right? Okay, Donovan, the best Christmas gift you ever received. Um, how do you think about it? I, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, or no. from when you were a child, maybe a toy, something like that. Well, for my parents, uh, I think the Noah Christmas gift was a, 
Kaino, eh, de Reyes, de, de Reyes. Ah, for the Three Kings. The Three Kings eh, was the PlayStation eh, One en 1995. Wow, and now we are already in PlayStation 5. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, no, but it's, it's good because you have yeah, seen I... all the process of evolution of the video games, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's get another question. Mariana, are you ready for your question? Hello, hello, Mariana. Talk to me. Is the chair What's your favorite Christmas movie? Uh, uh... Home Alone, <laughs> The Grinch, eh? The Nightmare Before Christmas. I. I can watch a lot of Christmas movies. Okay, so then you don't have a favorite Christmas movie? No. Then tell me, how are you going to spend Christmas this year? With your dad's family, with your mom's family? Tell me more <laughs> about this. With my mom, dad, and my brother. I don't know if we are going to go with my dad's family. I don't know. Uh-huh. And what do you usually have for dinner? Uh, lomo. Okay. With a sauce that, that my mom do. I do to do. Your mom does it? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mariana. Let me ask the next question for Valeria. Ready for your question, Valeria? Yes. Have you ever spent Christmas away from home? Tell us more about it. <laughs> yes. Um, like five years ago, I spent Christmas in San Cristobal, Chiapas, mm -hmm. with my aunt and her husband. And at that time, she only had one daughter so we we and another person it was also an out an aunt uh, aunt but um, she was like the the babysitter of my cousin mm -hmm. and we spent christmas at san cristobal yes okay and Yes, I like San Cristobal. It's, it's, it's nice. It's a nice place. It's very cold. Really? Uh, a cold place? Yeah. I thought Chiapas was, all of the state was hot because it's in the south. No, Chiapas is really cold. Really, really cold. It remembers me like Puebla, like a similar uh, weather. Don't tell me. I can't believe it if you tell me this. Yes, it's, it's cold. Could uh, it be because it's surrounded by the mountains? Maybe it could be. I, I think it's because of that. Mm. Just like Puebla. Just like Puebla, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And another times I spent Christmas in Villahermosa with uh -huh. my aunt and my cousins also. We go wherever my aunt is. This year we are going to Puebla. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And how do you feel? Excited or not really? Yes, I like Puebla. I don't like really like the cold weather, but... but it's Christmas, Valeria. How can you imagine Christmas in a hot weather? No, that's weird. <laughs> Here, Christmas <laughs> is hot. Always is hot in Christmas. It's just a little bit like of rain and air, and that's all, but it's hot. Okay, okay. Thanks, Valeria. Yes. Let's go for the next question, guys. We got Sara. Ready for your question, Sara? Yes, teacher. What are your favorite Christmas dishes? Okay. Uh, for me, they are in Spanish. You can say it in Spanish, no problem. For me, it's uh, romeritos and mashed potato. Okay. So, do you do you have your romeritos with shrimp 
tortita? Yes, yes. Um, chirin tortitas, um, uh, potato cambray, o cambray potatoes, um, chirin in, in whole. Wow. And yes. what is what is something typical from a dinner, a Christmas dinner in Monterrey? Because maybe it's different. <laughs> Stay burp. <laughs> Again? Hamburgers? Yes. What happened with people in Monterrey? In the um, Mary? Uh huh. It's like a um, meat burp. In the um, Saturday, is a meat war. <laughs> All the time it's meat in Monterrey? Yes, yes. Wow. Okay. They, they, don't, they don't eat a, a vegetable. Nothing, only meat. Only meat. Uh, the, I remember when I arrived to Monterrey, I, I go to a supermarket. And I I bought um squash and ah. the the cashier uh, sent me what what is it <laughs> really yes because people in Monterrey they don't like vegetables so much no 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 it uh, wow. the, the, some some people um think the vegetable is the, the people the people poor hi no yes. really? i i eat so much vegetable or for the animals no yes <laughs> what happened with these people in there but okay, okay. Me. yes i can see it okay you gotta go dana yes it's okay no worries thank you dana see you later yeah. Bye. Okay, guys, let's keep working. We got, okay, Jose, here is your question. Get ready for your question, Jose. What's your opinion on ugly Christmas sweaters? Ah, ugly Christmas sweaters, Jose. What do you think about them? Do you wear them? You don't wear them? Mm, actually, I, am, I don't consider ugly. <laughs> and the sweaters, I, it's like, they are cool, no? <laughs> Or yeah, I like them. Yes, but I like them too. <laughs> they do have you have some... do you have ugly Christmas sweaters at home? No, not really. But I like it because um some of them have uh, really good designs or yeah, paintings. Uh -huh, yes, it's that's beautiful. That's not ugly. <laughs> oh, but they call it in, in USA. They call it ugly sweaters. Yes, I know. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But they are cool, right? Yes. And your parents, they, do they wear them or something? Um, no, no. I would say you need to buy an old Christmas sweater. <laughs> I need one. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you another question. White Christmas or a sunny holiday season? Uh, white Christmas or a sunny holiday season? Yeah, what do you prefer? Um, Cold Christmas or in a... In a hot weather place. Oh, uh, uh, white Christmas, no? <laughs> it's like, um, um, oh, it's Christmas, no? And Christmas, it's like cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, so you never go on vacations on Christmas? Um, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks a lot. Let me ask this question to somebody else, right? Okay, Donovan, what do you say? Wet Christmas or a sunny holiday season Christmas? Uh, I prefer white Christmas. Huh? You don't imagine Christmas in a hot place? No. Uh, I think it's uh, usually... Imagine a white Christmas and cold Christmas, no, in 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 Mexico. Uh -huh. But I the I talk with my wife about I do a a a, a travel for a, next year. 
Ajá, we sí, don't yo know where, ajá, ajá. but uh, could be a possibility. To have a sunny Christmas? Yeah, it could be. Okay. Maybe, yeah. It could be different. Yeah. Okay, thanks. What do you say, Valeria? Because you were speaking about this before, no? White Christmas or sunny holiday season Christmas, Valeria? What happened, Valeria? Are you still there? Okay, I thought she was going to say something about it, but okay, let's get to another question, guys. Here we are. So, what is the best moment to put on Christmas decorations? Okay, Natalie, what is the best moment to put on Christmas decorations in November, in December? What's the best moment to put on these decorations? Um, in December. Until December. Okay. If I put on the decorations in November, no, not a good idea. Uh, no, because you. Um, uh, um in my case i uh, we put the christmas decoration in december okay i know some people who put the decorations in but, november it's not good or is it strange in, 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 oh my God. i can hear you for your connection I'm sorry. Let me ask to somebody else, right? What do you say, Ceci? When is the best uh, moment for Christmas decorations? Uh, on first, uh, on December 1st? In December. The same? She says it's in December the 1st. What yeah. do you think, Ceci, about people putting on the Christmas decorations in in November? No, November is for Halloween. Okay. And day of death or something like this. But I know some people who put the Christmas decorations on uh, November the 3rd. It's weird. Yes, it's so strange. <laughs> or some people who put them on after Revolution Day. No. <laughs> no? Until December. Yes, on December. Just in December. Mm -hmm. and, and, to... and maybe stay for December, January, and maybe February. <laughs> maybe February? No, why? Yes, on Candelaria's Day. Can you continue with your Christmas decorations on Candelaria's Day? Yes, why not? It, it's a very, uh, I don't know, Cansado. <laughs> tiring, tiring. Yes, tiring. Uh, put off the decoration. Okay, I got it, I got it. Let's get to the next question, guys, all right? So we got Mariana. Ready for your next question, Mariana? Hello. Yes. Here is it. What's your opinion about Christmas gifts exchange? Uh... <laughs> you don't like this? Mm -hmm. No, I, I like the, the change, but sometimes they are not uh, fair enough. No, they are not fair. Why not? Because some uh, some people... um How, how can I say it? Give um, you terrible gifts? Aha, uh -huh, and the other ones um, try too hard to make a really beautiful gift or uh -huh. gi or or give a really good gifts and for them to just have some chocolates uh, and, and tuna is like uh ah. do you do you want to know a story about what happened to me when i was a teacher in fresno i listened <laughs> yeah. i i made an exchange with my group mm -hmm. okay 
So I gave my present very happy because he wanted a, a t-shirt from Hang Ten. Do you know this brand, Hang Ten? No. It has a logo of a uh, foot. Okay. No, so I, I... the the t-shirt cost me like three hundred pesos. No. Oh. Because the okay. because the limit of the gift was three hundred pesos. So I okay. gave him the t-shirt. And when it was the moment to get my present, I got nothing. Nah, you um, when when that happens, it's normally the the people, uh, the teacher or like that, uh, say to the person, "No, you don't have nothing." And <laughs> and the gift that was from that from that person uh, passed to the person that he or she didn't get. Yeah, but I am the so I I what happened? I cannot get the present of another person, no? Because, Why not? Because, okay, they are children and we are not the same size, no? Uh, but what's the problem? <laughs> you is uh, solid. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, Mariana, good idea. I never thought about this before. Okay, then. Yeah, easy. Yeah, okay, let's go for the next question. We have, we have, okay, Sara, another question for you. What's the best Christmas gift you've ever received? The best Christmas gift, Sara, you ever received? Okay, I, it was when I, I was um, seven years old. Huh? And my aunt. Uh, this gives me a, a nice, nice dress. Maybe not is a, a good or oh, best Christmas gift, but is a, a nice because I remember so much the, the, the dress because for me, it was a beautiful dress. Okay. So it was very special. Folks. Yes. Okay. Donovan, let me get you another question. What are your New Year's resolutions for the upcoming year? Your New Year's revolution. Just resolution, sorry, Donovan. Uh, try to come, uh, come back to the Taekwondo. Ooh. Uh, for January, to be as a student yeah. or as a teacher, a student, uh, yes, because I I don't have the black belt. You wanna get your black belt this year? Upcoming yeah, this want... year, sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's a, a good resolution, and it could be another a change. Uh, uh, change job, yeah. And uh, uh, try and try to uh, advance with the credit for the for the house. Uh, um, because you have been paying this house, right? Yeah, I'm paying the the house. And. Okay. Uh, for for this moment, I think that's all because I well uh, change uh, uh change the car to be the change the car. Wow, you have very interesting resolutions for the next year. Yeah, uh, uh, I think uh, uh the fears uh, could be more easier because the uh, taekwondo. Uh, dojo is near Ojo de Agua. Okay, this is the chance now to come back. Yeah, yes. Thank you. Continue with the next question, guys. How do you typically celebrate New Year's Eve? Okay, Natalie, how do you celebrate New Year? Uh, we ate grapes. Mm hmm and we 
stay wake up at uh, what a.m. Okay, until one a.m. Mm -hmm. Or other time for or two a.m. Because it's common. Um, because my mother doesn't go to work this day. Okay, that's cool. Sometimes because this year my mother work the first of January. Okay, okay, Natalie. Uh, she can't stay with us in New Year's. Okay, okay, thank you. Let me ask the same question too. Okay, Ceci, tell me how do you typically celebrate New Year's Eve? Um, maybe uh, I I go with my to to the house of my mom and. Then we go to the house of my grandmother and we eat so much and drink so much. <laughs> <laughs> and at the uh, midnight, we celebrate with, uh, with, with drinks and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. grapes. Um, yes. And we, uh, 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 you hug and congratulate each other. Yes. Okay. Pretty cool. Thank you. Let's keep asking questions, guys. And we have another question for Valeria. Hi, Valeria. Are you still there? Hello, hello, Valeria. Talk to me. What happened with you? Okay, then I'm going to ask this question to Jose. Do you have a favorite New Year's Day tradition? Do you have any tradition for New Year's Day, sir? Um, a tradition? Um, yeah. For example, some people go out with some suitcases or wear uh, red or yellow underwear. I don't know, stuff like that. Uh... Um, mm, do you no. eat grapes? Do you make some? Oh recipe? yes, uh, obviously the grapes. Um, maybe the Christmas gifts. Mm -hmm. um, those two are the only traditions we have. I what think. resolutions do you have for twenty twenty four? Well, resolutions. Mm, Hmm, maybe uh, learn new things, for example, um, and learn how to program or maybe um, study more uh, French. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, um, mm, what else? <laughs> um, mm, maybe keeping um, doing exercise. Um, I don't know, maybe um, be a better person. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool resolutions. Thanks. Okay, guys, let's keep going. Four more questions. And we have now Mariana. You go again, Mariana. Have you ever celebrated New Year in another place? Tell us more about it. Okay. Another place like where? Another city or another house that is not typical. I I haven't, but I will this year. Really? What are you going to do? I will go to my dad's uh, with my uh, dad's family. Oh, this is the first time you're going to do it? Yes, but but no, no not my dad. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. My not, not Mario, your dad, yeah, Mario. Yeah. Your, yeah. your dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad. Oh, 
And how do you feel? Nervous for this? Yes, a lot. I haven't seen that family for too many years. So, I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Well, nothing, nothing strange is going to happen because they are your family, so. No, 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 yeah, but I don't know. It's like the, the last time they saw me, I was like a six baby. years old. Oh, you so... were a little girl, and now you are almost a woman. Yes, so I, I will be like, hi, because I don't remember. I don't... Hi, <laughs> I grew up. <laughs> I mm -hmm. will be crying in in scared because I don't remember a lot of the family. No, don't for don't worry about this. That day you will be introduced like, oh, this is your uncle, this, your aunt, that, your cousin, this. Your... You won't remember all the names. No, I I just remember my. Uh, how did I say? Please? Your aunt. So, my 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 cousin, mm -hmm. my cousin that is three years old than me. No, but now he's almost like you. Eh? Now he he has grown up. A lot. I when I saw him again because I saw him before, mm -hmm. uh, all the family. I don't know how I re recognize him in with a lot of people in a in a hallway. Yes, and you are like, oh, okay, you're my cousin. Yes, I'm your cousin. Oh, cool. No, no. I, uh, my dad and me were uh, working, and my dad said, "Ah, your cousin is here. Try to uh, recognize him." And I saw someone stand up uh, in a lot with a lot of people, and I run to him, <laughs> and it was hey, him. Cool, cool, cool story. Okay, yeah. thanks. Let's keep asking. Ready for your question, Sarah? When is the best moment to take away Christmas decorations? When? When is the best for moment? For me, it's uh, um, November 15th. No, to take away. Take away. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> mm, okay. I think... In February, um, like Ceci says? No. Uh, yes. After the tamales. <laughs> After Candelaria? Really? Yes. I enjoy so much the decoration, the Christmas decoration. Uh huh. Okay, so <laughs> in your house it's November, December, January, and almost February Christmas? Yes. Maybe. Wow. In, in, in other house, in other house, uh, Christmas decorations. Decoration uh, left all years. <laughs> Why? No, that's very strange. Yes. Okay, okay. Next question. This is for you, Donovan. What Donovan. is your favorite celebration? Christmas or New Year? Why? Christmas or New Year? New Year, because I am an atheist. I don't like Christmas at all. And what do your what does your family say? They don't say like, oh my god, he's an atheist and he doesn't. Nah. They don't care. Because, nah, my well, my mom is a catechist. Uh, <laughs> no. and, <laughs> yeah. Uh, she she knows that I am an atheist. Uh, and just I for Christmas I, I I uh, think it's a familiar a familiar party or mm -hmm. close close friends or family party, no. But but that uh, that way I prefer New Year, uh, because it's a could be a a the 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 same in the same a uh, family party, but it's. Uh, are you there oh my god his internet went up it's a shame okay guys let's get to continue for another question right so okay we have valeria are you still there valeria for another the last question yes i'm here teacher did you used to get presents from both santa claus and the three wise men 
Mm. When I was a kid, I remember sometimes I used to. Mm -hmm. Not not like all the years, but some some some. Not all the years because you were a bad girl, or what happened? No, sometimes I'm just received like Santa Claus and not the three wise men. Uh, or but never for both, never from both. No. Okay. Well, I, I don't really remember, but I always received one gift. Huh. Now children, they get like seven gifts. <laughs> In one month. Yeah. Yes. Do you think that's good? Do you think that's good that they give seven gifts to the kids in Christmas? No. No, no, no. Because sometimes I see that in the social media, the parents say, oh, look at the presents for my son. And they are seven or eight things. Oh, no. I think um, they have to receive like the... Uh, mm, one gift only one gift or maybe two i don't know it's too much seven gifts is too too much mm -hmm. maybe sometimes it could be a competition between parents no or it could be like showing up like i have money i have um children and i have a perfect life and i don't know but it have it hasn't to be like that no, that's not the purpose of Christmas. No, it's to be happy with family. We and gives actually uh, in the present days I still um uh, receiving gifts from my parents. That's like, cool. Yes, but it's nothing like too big or something like wow or ten gifts. No, it's maybe this year they <laughs> gave me a a, a pair of pants. And mm -hmm. I am very, very happy and grateful because I'm going to use it a lot. And how is your mom, Claudia? Because she, I haven't seen anything from her in the in, in WhatsApp. Nothing. She's, She's very is, busy. Or I, what? I haven't seen her really these days because she is sick. She's sick. She's really sick. My two oh. sisters are, are really sick. They, they have asthma. So... Oh. Yes, it's awful, awful. So they don't come to my grandparents' house because they can't get sick and it's going to be terrible. Yeah, 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 a lot. Okay, say hello to her from my behalf, all right? Yes, I'm going to say, say her. Okay, guys. Well, the time is over, everybody. So we are going to get back until until the first week of January you know so our next class will be on tuesday january the 2nd all right guys so i think i'll see you like in a week and a half all right so have a merry christmas and a awesome new year so good night everybody thank you see you everyone good night, good night teacher good night see you later bye teacher christmas. happy holidays the same see you later Thank you. Happy New Year and